Hey guys, today is October 16th, 2022. So this video will be my final decode of the Pi variant before it actually occurs. So uh, again, these are images from iPetGo2 and we see on the face of Baron Samedi. Baron Samedi represents the Day of the Dead celebrated October 31st to November 2nd. We see what looks like the lowercase Pi symbol. You know, it's not exact. They're not going to make it too obvious because uh, a Pi symbol is such a unique symbol. Um, but they also put the uppercase Pi right below it. They hide it in his teeth. And I'm not sure if the blow horn coming out of the tooth is related to the Pi variant somehow. But we are in the year of the tiger. And you know, Baron Samedi's tapping the girl on the shoulder who has the tiger on the back of her jacket. So, Day of the Dead, Year of the Tiger, it makes a whole lot of sense. And of course, as I've shown before, the movie The Life of Pi, the advertisement shows the tiger in the water. We are in the Year of the Water Tiger, more specifically, which comes every 60 years because, um, there's the wood tiger, there's other forms, but yeah, every 60 years. Now this image here from iPad Go, it looks like the pie symbol in George Bush's eyebrow. When you reverse it horizontally, you clearly see the number 72. And I believe this number 72 could possibly relate to pi, something to do with the pi variant. And I've said before that this is multi-layered. This also related to a tsunami 72 days after Bush's birthday in 2015. As you can see, this also looks like a wave symbol. But looking at October 20th, the first date I want to talk about, it has numerology of 72 when you add up 10 plus 20 plus 20 plus 22. It also has 72 days remaining. It's also Kamala Harris's birthday. And as I said before, this flower splitting out of the apple is the lotus flower. And Kamala Harris, Kamala, her name means lotus flower. And I said this also represented the flower moon eclipse, which took place May 15th, May 16th. And this will be 157 days after May 16th, which is the 37th prime. And you can see the letters and numbers, depending on which way you look at it, LC from this way, or Obama's perspective, it would be C7. So that's 37. So a number relating to the flower moon eclipse with the number 37. Now at the end date included, it is 10 years, 119 days apart from the release date of iPad Go. Now I want to talk about October 21st. This will be 22,200 days apart from the date that Obama was born, with the dates reversed. 22, the letter V, is the 22nd letter falling down Obama's forehead. And we have 22 twice. So when the dates weren't reversed, May 18th was 22,202 days after Obama was born. And that day was the first case of monkeypox in the U.S., not the actual first case, but in the U.S. Then I wrote down the date September 29th, 2000, because that relates to the date the Apple split in half. Its stock price fell by 50% in a day. And you can see to October 21st, not only does it have a 22 connection to Obama's birth, but it's 22 years and 22 days after Apple's stock price dropped by 50% in a day. And this, without the end date included, has another 9-11 connection with the release date of iPad Go. It also has a perfect 9-11 connection, 9 years, 11 months, after the Life of Pi released in the U.S. And it also has another 9-11 connection with the Life of Pi premiering with the dates reversed. So October 20th had the same connection, but that was with the end date included. Same with the iPad Go to re release date. Now the movie American Pie premiered on 7-7, 7 
This time difference is 3 months and 14 days apart. Again, pi is the number 3.14. Not only that, on February 4th, Bill Gates was hit in the face with a pie. So going forward from October 21st, it's also three months and 14 days apart. Now, another thing that's special about the numerology of October 20th and October 21st is the ones and twos. Because when we look back in history, we can associate that with COVID and the variants. Um, the first case of COVID in China was on 1021 on the Chinese calendar. And the first case in the U.S., it was on 121. So I say to look at multiple calendars because the first case of Delta, the Delta variant in the U.S., was on 1211 on the Jewish calendar. And the first case of Omicron in the U.S. was on 12-1-2021. Now, December 14th, 2020 was a significant date because it was the date that the first person in the U.S. received the COVID jab. And that happened to be 1,211 days after the 2017 total solar eclipse that was over the continental U.S. and 1,211 days prior to the coming 2024 total solar eclipse that will pass over the U.S. And lastly, you can see that the movie The Life of Pi premiered and released in the U.S. with the 9-11 connection on October 28th, which is Bill Gates' birthday. So that might be another significant date. Uh, that is very close to the Day of the Dead time frame. And actually, if we look at November 1st, which is during the celebration of the Day of the Dead, we can see it's nine years, 11 months, and 11 days after the movie The Life of Pi released. So that's my decode for the Pi variant. Uh, we'll see what happens, and I'll talk to you guys next time.